Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel, girl what? Yes, baby, y'all see her, she back, Zora, with her edges, yes. So anyway, um, for those that may be new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, and girl what? If you want to spend a dollar and 99 cents on the best thing ever, then join our chat about us. You have to be a grown behind woman or a man. Only a man that's playing with dolls now. Come on now. <laughs> don't come in up. Don't come in up with that crazy this. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So anyway, yeah, you have to be 18 years old or older to join. It is a dollar and 99 cent. And I do have to say girl, women and men because we do have male collectors in the hobby. So anti hoo hoo. So I just wanted to share it with you guys. Let me calm down. My Zora. So Zora is a very special baby for me, as they all usually are. But, so, real quick backstory, if you guys don't know. I was painting Zora while I had Phoenix. Phoenix is my whole heart. He's still my whole heart, even though his name is now Premier. And he's with, like, the most loving family ever. And um, while I was painting her, her legs and stuff was like almost the same color as Phoenix. And I was like, uh-uh, I can't have two because I don't want them to be competing against each other. Like, you know, because it's, it's like when I have two of the same skull, eventually one gets sold. It still ends up happening, but um, anyway, so I was just like, I'm going to go a little bit darker with her. So I did. I ended up going darker with her, and I, I fell in love with her. And I knew that I wasn't going to use, I was using a different head on on um the limb body so um she is the margot margot goat this margot that's why she just get named baby margaret because child is too much um <laughs> mark margot um margo margo whatever um by cassie brace and um she was painted by me and let me zoom into this little girl because listen honey them them edges is giving me life um, you guys may not be able to see as much, but she was rooted, beautifully rooted by Sentimental Babies. I don't usually share my rooter name because I'd be sick of y'all running to them and then I can't get in because they slots are filled. Um, but she was rooted by her to my specifications, which I've been working with pinning for quite some time, a few years, and we usually work really good together. And that's why a lot of people have recommended a lot of different rooters for me. And I be really reluctant to send my baby heads off. I just be like, okay, let me just stick with what I know. And you know, every now and then I venture out, but um, you know, Penny is my main go-to when it comes to my vinyl babies. My silicone babies, I typically root myself. And um, definitely, um, it's only rare occasions that I would ever send my silicone babies out, um, to anyone else to root. Um, even if it takes me 20 years to root, I just prefer to do it myself. So anyway, um, so that is that. So yeah, she got a head full of hair. It's not overly long. It's not as long as Taraji's because she, um, she's a younger baby. And I just feel like, um, I just feel like I, I like my younger babies with shorter hair. Um, but she does have a head full of hair and I love, so each time I send her a head, like I used to back in the day, didn't even like give her any real direction, like or whatever. But lately with certain babies, especially if they're a special baby for me, I usually find like a real child. Because y'all know my, my my babies be real to me. So I be needing to get them with real hairstyles, a real baby, so that they can have a realistic look. Um, so um, me and her was so funny with this one because we was going back and forth on like her edges, like like um, which way we wanted to do them. And I, because I had two different, you know, pictures and styles or whatever and um one being the one that I used for Taraji and then another one and it was so funny so we we had fun and 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 then she was like oh I, I kind of don't want to cut the hair and so I love when when um she gets excited about the hair or the baby she really liked 
Zora. Every so often I send her a baby and she's just like really, really loves it. And sometimes she'd be like, mm. she was like, you did the sculpt justice, but, um, Cause sometimes I'll ask her, what you think about the sculpt? She's like, uh, yeah, this one not it for me. This one not thang thanging. <laughs> she don't say that, but, but, um, she'd be like, uh, yeah, this one, it's, yeah. but she was like, but you, you, you colored it right. <laughs> anyway, so we work good together. I love having good business, healthy relation, working relationships. Anyway, um, that is, that is that. But she, Zora is very special to me cause I like, really like pick Zora up a lot and I will sit Zora um at the end of my bed on this little thing that I have there for when Gabby was a little Gabby used to come in and want to watch TV I'm gonna try to put her on this outfit but I got a feeling what size is this 12 to 18 months uh I think I should have got her 6 to 12 month on her clothes the outfit so far that I've bought for her here recently has not been working out. Now I do have a dress, but I don't know what I did with the little dress. Where did I hang it up at? Hold on, let me see. Um. Well, I didn't hang it. I don't know where I hung it up at, but I have a romper that is actually. But this one, that romper is gonna be too small. Oh well. Um. I got a feeling that this is going to be too, too, too big for her, which I just end up giving it to Taraji. So I said I wasn't going to go back and order the same stuff in a smaller size, but I'm really considering it <sighs> because I was really excited about her having her new things, but it doesn't really matter as much because she has quite a bit of little clothes. But I just hadn't been able to put it on her because I was, like, mad because, you know, if, if she don't have hair and I can't find a matching hat, it doesn't work. Oh, and let me show you. I brought him. I left him here. They, they be sitting together. She just came back. But I wanted to show a lot of times, and I do this just because, just to tell you, show you guys that, um... A lot of times it's like these two look like they were similar in color, but their color is very different. Um, but it's in the same kind of family. Um, each time I paint a baby, I feel like I get a little bit closer to a realistic skin tone. That's just my personal opinion. I could be, you know, being a little biased. But let me lean the light over a little bit so you guys can see. It's casting a shadow on the one leg, but if you look at this other leg... I really want to show them let me I want to get the shadow off the one that's next to her leg but anyway if you could see she has more of a cinnamon color and he's more of I don't know olive I don't know if you if you would say that but he he is definitely like less um cinnamon as, as as she is but I love both of their colors but it's just so funny because I was like, oh, you guys are close in color. But in their, even their feet is different. The blushing color of their feet, the bottom of their feet are different. So they're not nowhere near the same. But if you see them in separate photos, you might assume that one is close to the other. Can you over here? Oh, name reveal for him. Um, I'm kind of seeing what I feel about the name Jacoby. But I'm not sure yet. I, I kind of, somebody suggested that and I kind of like it for him. I don't know if you guys can see her when I'm, when I'm about to get her dressed really quick. See how this works out. Oh, and I did, you guys know I put that little piece of an armature in her neck area, which makes such a big difference. Um... And she's weighted. Her head is weighted. Everything about her is weighted. So she has weight. And she still has the little armature. And I, I like that. Um, but you know with the, the big babies. You don't want to weight their heads too much. To where it's flopping like a newborn. Because unless you're creating a baby. That's supposed to have some type of disabilities. Which is fine if that's what your intentions are. Then 
you would probably make it a little bit floppy because at this point they definitely should be able to sit up on their own hold their head up on their own type thing look at that baby <laughs> look at that baby oh my goodness i love her so much guys um i know y'all get tired of me saying that but i do you know every now and then there's a baby that and and even if like i told y'all even if we tend to sell them now i kept phoenix for a while um and I, I did ache a little bit when I sold him. Um, the, the, you know what made me? I did have regrets. I won't lie. I actually had regrets. When I first sold him, I said, oh, my God, I really did that. I shouldn't have did that. My mom was going crazy when she came in the house and she didn't see him out in the high chairs or on the sofa. And um, every time she comes, she she look over that way and she would, for, you know, forget that he wasn't here. And... Um, you know, at first I, I felt I felt like, oh my God, I felt this little ping in my heart. Like, dang, I really shouldn't have did that. You know, out of greed, just for money. You know, I'm going through all these things. Like, I didn't have to sell him. I could have found somebody else if I would have been a little bit patient and all this and stuff. But then when the mommy got him and how much her mom loves him and stuff, oh my God, I feel so good about it and I feel feel like he's just where he needed to be and it actually makes me feel even better because somebody actually enjoying um him as much as I did and really it you know celebrates my work and that just makes me feel good because I'm not perfect and you know sometimes I you know I question myself so much until believe it or not sometimes you feel like you just maybe I shouldn't be doing this I should do something else or something like that like you know, as far as maybe I shouldn't, you know, paint for everybody. I should just paint for myself. Sometimes I feel like that sometimes, you know. Um, but, yeah, it was really nice. So, that's good. I, I So, I, I don't regret selling him now at this point. And I'm so glad that this little girl, even though she's a girl. And you guys can't see, but she has the cutest little gums in her mouth. And they're painted the perfect color, pinky looking color which is so nice um it's like little things that we don't see when <laughs> it's like little things we don't see she looks like she is fitness it's like little things that we don't see on camera and things that we just can't show in photos about the babies that are cute and gets us and i i get caught up on silly stuff like for me with jacoby um and I'm calling him that, um, my Sandy, it's his legs. I, I wanted that kid the moment I seen the, the, the leg sculpt. I, I fall in love with silly things. It could be the feet, the hands, and I, I want to paint it. If I have nothing else, I want to paint it. Um, so, child, am I, oh, I was going to say, if I'm missing a button, all right, so, yeah, it's, it's, sometimes it, it's just quirky little things. Um, with this kid, I really wanted the face, but I didn't like the original arms. So, I was like, I gotta figure out something. And I, I bought, you know, two blank kits and said, let me, let me see. Oh, it fits her perfect, actually. Let me button you up in the back, because you're gonna be wearing this for a little minute. At first, I couldn't put her on long pants reason why I put on that little outfit is because I wanted to see her little legs. I like looking at their legs. Um, I think I'm just one of those collectors that, you know, I fall in love with the baby painting before I, you know, well, I fall in love with the sculpt, of course, but then I fall in love more with the painting. And I know like a lot of people are just all about hair. Like they can, you know, the baby could be, like, not the best painted baby, but as long as it's got hair, some collectors are okay with that. They're, like, really happy with a very mediocre or not-so-great painted, realistic painted baby as long as it has, like, nice hair. Um, and I'm quite opposite. I prefer the painting over the hair. I even... I'm telling you, I can even sometimes settle for subpar hair before I can settle for subpar um, painting sometime. 
but sometimes it's just you know the energy that the the sculpt give you or the baby gives you that makes you fall um i took her ponytail down so her hair she could wear bangs i didn't bring a brush thing but her hair could brush down into bangs but i brushed it into her ponytail um it's so funny that now that she has hair she reminds me of my family even more so because my family have this way of having um i don't know she just looks like she would be just a, a very hairy baby and that's that's what she's giving me with this hair and it just looks like our babies and the hair texture and stuff her hair is really curly i could take it loose oh we're into 15 minutes um but that's this is her little outfit um i bought the shoes that taraji was wearing those are actually her shoes so i'm not sure if i'm gonna put them on her i'll take some pictures of her with the outfit but um her hair is big when you take it out so I can um, do all types of styles but the rooting is um, very nice like very neat one like one strand at a time almost I don't know I don't think I've seen any two strands in there but yeah all the way through it's very 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 neat in the middle and everything so I really I really really love love her hair I could part it different ways and do her hair but i'm not a good hairstylist so there's that i need to match him to her though so that they can match he's just over here like so you just gonna leave me over here in this corner <laughs> oh lord oh look let me show y'all the other babies are over there let me turn the light over this way so you guys can see them a little bit but yeah, that's what the babies are. Got one over there on layaway, so she's she's chilling out. But yeah. So anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Zora come back. Um, I'll try to do more videos with her. I always say that, but it's kind of hard doing changing videos. I probably once I get where I can sit on the floor with them, maybe that'll be better. Um, so I could sit down with them because I when I change my toddlers, I change them like on my bed or I, you know, I don't have to worry about am I blocking the camera type thing? Because, you know, it's always some some dog on Karen in the in in the comment section. You blocked her the whole time. Wish we could have seen what you were doing. <laughs> I know Karen. I know Karen. I know you just so upset and bothered. But yeah, that's that's how it, it be. But uh so I try I just be like uh, I don't feel like all that today. But yeah, this is my girl. She is back. Back, back, back. I love her. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and stay tuned. Lots more things are coming up and lots more babies and like I said, a couple babies. I'm I'm actually rooting um oakland right now so yep more babies will be available and i'm just excited but i'm more excited to have my girl back so um lauren katie lauren will be back with hair uh next so that'll be that'll be cute um to see her with hair but yeah that's it